All right, we're going to keep the show rolling. Coming to the stage. I love it, lady. You're going to love. She's from Nashville. Please give a warm welcome to Christy. It's in. She'd say crazy. 
crazy stuff too. You're going to get hookworms. Don't drink so much Dr. Pepper. You're going to get constipated. That doesn't even make sense. What? She was crazy. But I loved her. God rest her soul. Because that's what you got to say about somebody who's dead. So rest her soul. Makes you feel not so bad about it, you know. But she's made me kind of prejudiced now. I'd have to say I'm paranoid and prejudiced. Not against like blacks or Mexicans or Orientals or anything like that. But against stupid, because you can't look at somebody and tell they're stupid, right? Even when they talk, you might just think they're deep or eccentric or something, right? Now, why are there so many stupid people in the world? I'll tell you, because you got stupid people procreating with other stupid people and plopping out more stupid people. Now, you can take two pretty people, make them plop out a pretty kid. I've seen it! But you cannot take two stupid people and make a smart one. It didn't work like that. We're overpopulated. We should do with them like we did with deer. You know, when they're overpopulated, just shoot a few of them. Bring the numbers down. You know, bring the numbers down. I say if your IQ is below a certain level, you need to just take this up, staple it, something. Quick. You can't conceive. I say, wouldn't that be the best, you know, at the hunting season? Open season would begin the day after Thanksgiving, you know? Wouldn't that be good? Can you see the hunters going, all right, I think I see one going toward the $20 DVDs. Bam! You know? Good times. Good times. And there's just stupid people going to college. Like, I had a bunch of stupid people uh, that I went to high school with go to nursing school. I don't know how they got in because I had science with these people, and I'm pretty sure science is involved in nursing. And these people didn't pass study hall. How are they passing science, right? I believe if I went into the doctor's office and I saw one of them coming toward me to examine me, I'd say, you know, uh, I think we just gonna have to pass. You're not gonna go see what happens. Maybe this growth will go away on its own, fall off or something. We'll see. All right, well, y'all, my name's Chris. Y'all have a good night. Yeah.